and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Jund Revival. That's right, we have a deck that's kind of built, well, not necessarily around Bonder Revival, but with Bonder Revival in mind. This card looks pretty sweet. So five mana sorcery, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until end of your next turn. So, you know, bring back a creature and give it haste. And it doesn't, the creature doesn't go away or anything like that. Um, so I'm not like completely focused on discarding a bunch of cards and like trying to get Bonder Revival immediately as fast as possible. This is kind of like our, kind of like our Command the Dreadhorde. You know, like later on, we bring back one of our sweet creatures and give it haste. So what we have going on here is we have our eight mana creatures, Land War Elf, Paradise Druid, plus we have six more mana planeswalkers with Domri and Kiora. So we're trying to ramp in the early game. We also have Remodi Reveler and Tormenting Voice to do a little bit of discarding and also smooth out our draws in the meantime. I guess this Dom this Domri is a mana cre mana planeswalker as well. So we have eight mana planeswalkers. Um and then once we're doing our ramping, we're casting some sweet five mana creatures, most notably Ilharg, right? Like Ilharg is is the main deal. Like this is really what the deck is built around is Ilharg. Getting Ilharg in play, giving Ilharg haste with Domri or with Bonder Revival and attacking with Ilharg and having it put some other sweet creatures into play. Trying out some demanding dragons here. Uh, this gets to, you know, if, if the opponent does, isn't playing creatures, this has five haste damage plus then, you know, if it actually has haste, you get another five in. So you could be attack, you know, basically dealing 10 damage uh, right away with Demanding Dragon in the air, um, which is pretty sweet. Tetsamok looks awesome with Ilharg. Um, so, like, we have, uh, like, basically we can use Tetsamok's ability while it's in our hand, you know, tap our black mana, start targeting our opponent's creatures, but then we don't actually have to cast Tetsamok if we just attack with Ilharg. So like maybe we had Ilharg in play and the opponent uh, passed and let us keep our Ilharg. Then like the next turn, all of our black mana, uh, tap each one, put some so put some prey counters on different creatures and then attack with Ilharg, put Tetsamok into play, destroy all those creatures, then put the t Tetsamok back in our hand so we can do it again the next turn. Um, Ravager Worm's awesome, Palaka Worm. Good against some aggro decks. We got another Palak of Worm in the sideboard. And, of course, Galta. Uh, just really heavy hitter. So pretty sweet looking deck here. We're going to be attacking with some really big creatures. And can't really ask for any more than that when you're playing Magic. Playing a game of Magic, just attacking with some really big creatures. So let's give this a try. Jund Revival. <laughs> Yeah, donation decks are, are $20 to have your deck played um, on stream. And and if you donate for a deck, you can choose what day. You know, like, basically, time slots are all open. You can choose what day you want. And then if you want me to play it first, second, third, or fourth that day. So, you know, you, you can just... Uh, playing it... I don't usually do it same day. So, like, whatever day you donate, you know, you can play it the next day or any day after that. Yeah, we got the sweet combo in hand, that's for sure. So just in case we would draw one of our six three mana planeswalkers, went ahead and shocked in with the land werewolf there. Yeah, if you donate for the deck, you just I play a, a league uh, with it where we play until we either win five or lose two. Uh, Silver, what I'm not sure what you're referring to. Are you talking about Deckmaster, Silver? Yeah, that's. You, okay, so you don't have that up, so just refresh your stream, then, if it's not working. I'm 
More Ilhargs. <clears throat> Unfortunately, our love, or, uh, Land War Elves got stricken there, so we didn't get to have Ilharg turn 4. We'll have Ilharg turn 5. There you go. You got it. Sweet. <laughs> Cure, you couldn't come any turn earlier? Like any of the turns earlier? Oh, well, we still can play uh, Kiora next turn, put in Ravager Worm off of Ilharg, uh, draw a card. Right, so if. If you put an Ilharg into play off of an Ilharg, then you have to choose which one you want to keep because you can't have two of a legendary permanent in play with the same name. So you have to choose which. So you can either, if you if you did that, you would either keep the one that was originally attacking and sacrifice the other one. So all you did was just you know basically dis discard your Ilharg, or you would keep the one that's going to bounce to your hand and you'd sacrifice the original and then that would go back to your hand. What do you do? You don't you don't do anything I really want you to do right now. Bet you've never been hugged by a kraken before. So I'm gonna kill the Kafnet because if I if I eat the crackling drake, then the Kafnet can block and my Ravager Worm dies. Cool. Land's not a bad draw here, because with land we get to untap and play the Domri. I'm just going to take out, because I don't really want my opponent to be able to attack and kill Domri. <laughs> Feeling cute, might eat a god. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, like, this next turn, I'm not going to be able to minus Domri and give the creature haste, right? Like, if we minus Domri to find something. So, I guess maybe I should have just minus Domri. But minusing Domri means it, like, dies to shock and lightning strike. <laughs> well. Don't attack Domri. Don't attack Domri. Attack me. Yeah. Yeah. Domri. <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Haste. Draw more cards. Choose up to one. I don't I don't want to though. Done. There you go. Okay, figure it out. Boom. Alright, so we're playing against Drax. We're going to want some Lava Coils. Want to coil some stuff against the Drake deck. Uh, Rippy, little Rip J can can draw some cards because like their removal is going to be all burn based right <laughs> yeah josh yeah um yes yeah, uh sway who donated for it said to change stuff so yeah, I I don't I don't change anything in a deck um, unless the person that donated for it said said to change things beforehand. I don't always do that. Like the other two donation decks that we played today, I played the seventy five that was given me. But the person that donated for this deck said change stuff, and so that's why I did. 
Um, anyway, uh, I got 40 seconds. Um, hmm. This Tomer is probably not that necessary. Well, I mean, I guess we need the ramp. I don't even know what to take out if we bring in coils. I guess I guess that's what we're doing. We're going to trim two of this Domri. We're going to trim a... I don't know, a Remodi Reveler. And... I'm just going to take out a Bond Revival. Because I need to take something out. I'm panicking. Um... Tetsamok. Could take out Tetsamok. I feel like Tetsamok may work pretty well here, though, with Drakes. Honestly, it probably works pretty well here with Drakes, with how they only have, like, a couple of creatures that are really important. Ronis. Ronis is probably a good card to take out. Yeah, Remodi is, like, our, our one discard thing to kind of help out uh, Bonder Revival. It may just be better, like, having Incubation Druids instead of Remodis. But, you know, Remodis cool. Like, you know, like, late game. You, like, run out of stuff. You play, like, your Remodi, you draw a card. Or early game, if you're, like, hands full of, like, too much, too many big mana things, you play it and cycle something. I guess rummage is the correct term. Rummage something. We got one Phoenix in there. We're in a little bit of a tough spot here, whether to play Domri or Kiora. Or like, you know, like, hmm. I'm going to play Kiora. Like, Domri would give Ilhark haste. I I guess I could have attacked with Paradise Druid and minus the Kiora just to untap it to give it keep it with Hexproof, but let's keep it like this. So it's either do we want to have Ilharg have haste or do we want to draw a card whenever we play Ilharg? Or do we want to wait another turn and then play Domri and then next turn Ilharg with haste? Yeah, but that's why that's why I was going with that's exactly what I was thinking too, VT log, that we're gonna need to try to draw some other big creature to kinda go with this Ilharg. So um going with the Kiora here. So they've discarded a shock and a strike. It's good for us. They're discarding burn spells. Burn spells kinda kill us. Surges, life thrives. We got enough mana. I should have got the attack in the last turn and minus the Kiora. So we'll have two more draws next turn to look. For you know, still look for something for Ilharg. They must have a lot of red spells in hand. If, like, the auto-tap just tapped both islands. They must have a whole lot of red spells in hand. 
a whole lot of these burn spells that they already discarded. A shock and a strike. Ooh. We get our first Tetsamok. Um, reveal. Put a prey counter on this. This better have a sweet animation. I don't think I've done this before. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Stop. Bill Harg. All right, so Bill Harg will put in Tetsamok. Draw a card. Trigger. Also trigger, destroy each creature. Oh man, there's not a cool animation. So if I would have got that two damage in with Paradise Druid earlier. Honestly, I'm just kind of scared they have a bunch of burn spells. I don't want to shock in here for the Llanowar Elf, to be honest. I don't think we really need to. Yeah, that was a sweet turn. Is it a good game like we're dead? I'm telling you, they have a whole bunch of red spells over there. Yeah, we're dead. No, maybe not. They gotta do seven? You can't do seven, right? Nope. Oh, but they get the bird back. Right, bird comes back. Oh, they didn't. They they had to hit another birdie. Wow, one life. One life. Oh yeah, Domri Domri Chaos Bringer with Bios and Tidra is, is awesome. Good thing we didn't shock for that land war elf. Yeah, I should have shocked for the elf. Man, what a sweet deck. We get to haste in an Ilharg that also draws a card. That puts in a Tetsamok that killed their creature and draws a card. That's what I'm talking about. No, I think my opponent was saying GG like I won, not GG like they won. I don't think they're like being rude. I think they were just saying like, yeah, you won this good game. That's a mock. Hmm. I guess we just get rid of forest. Even though the other lands are shock lands. I mean, we need double green or double red. I want as much black as possible with Tetsamok. I don't know. We're playing against Steam Vents. I guess we don't need that much black mana. We got two. Two is good enough. Lotus Field? Lotus Field looks pretty sweet. I don't... I don't know, like, how good it will be or how much play it will see or that kind of stuff. Um, but it's definitely a cool-looking card. No, don't pierce this. Okay. Oh, I look forward to seeing that you know only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> I am not going to sit this one out. 
What do you more ill-hards? Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Deal five. See? It's got haste. It's got haste. Listen up, head up. <laughs> it's a nice My little tutu. Are loyal and brilliant. Dude, demanding dragon is this sweet. Might be a bad idea. Hmm. Do I pray counter this 2 2? I guess I can just fight it. I'll we'll just cast it. Good old Tetsi. Let's get a Tetsi out here. Hone your control. This isn't a fight you can win. You need to take a time out. That's more like it. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. All right, so they're out of blockers. They get to draw a card with Big Teferi. My little Teferi can bounce and they draw a card. Let's try this. Opponent is at five life, which is the key number for this demanding dragon. Come to me. I can only activate that on my turn. Ooh. raised by wolves. Well, well, they might have also just been big dogs. Chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. to them roar all right got game one so against the control deck we definitely want these elder spells and I want carnage tyrants and I'm gonna take out palaka worm take out Tetsamok, Aronis. I can take out Aronis. Tetsamok, kind of cool. Eh, why don't we still take one out? I want Tormoning Voice out of here. We saw them have Dovin's Veto. They could, you know, they still may keep the counter spell. I don't want to like di play my play my spell, discard something, and then they counter it, and then I don't get to draw. That could be pretty bad. So I took out three big creatures and put in two. That's probably good. That's probably fine. Trimmed one big creature. Yeah, Sarkin didn't damage my creatures because 
<clears throat> Sarkin says it deals damage equal to how many dragons they have in play. And they had zero dragons in play. Because my Ravager Worm ate it up. All right, we got Chompers. Mr. Chompers. If you show remorse, don't worry. I got this. My pets are hungry, and you look like lunch. I won't let you win. Let's get moving. You ain't bouncing my mana creature. Yeah, you just bounce yourself. War is coming. I join my cause. All right, Mr. Chompers can eat the tutu and kill Kasmina. We need more big creatures. Rut row. Rut row. No, my Kiora. No, I liked my Kiora. <laughs> Not good. All right, we need we need Tetsumok back in here. I also, of course, you know, need to need to draw some more big things, and then just the the one big thing in the fourteen cards. So yeah, maybe I need to yeah. Let's get Tetsumok back in here. Let's trim like a Paradise Druid. Okay, okay. Um. Don't make another move. I mean, so I could have... Could have just played the Demanding Dragon there and, you know, next turn Bond Revival then, you know, been able to attack with the Ravager Worm still. Let's take it. I like getting that thing out of there. Oh, come on. That's like not even... That's like not even fair. Well, Remati Reveler is pretty sweet here. Spectacle draw three. Get that Ravager Worm back. That's what I'm talking about. No time for a break. There you go, Remodi Reveler. Way to do some work. No, I think I just Ravager Worm and kill this Lyra so then I can attack with the Demanding Dragon. We are the future. So 
really want to kill Teferi, of course. Only time will tell. Lava coil. My students are loyal geniuses. So we fought through two Lyras. Ah. Scooped it up, Ilharg. They're at 30 life, and they're like, no, nah, I'm done with this. I killed so many creatures, and there's still a big old pig god sitting there. Pig life, GG's. Wow, what a game. What a game. That's what I'm talking about. Turn three, raise boar. Alright, uh, Orzhov Aristocrats up on YouTube. Had to finish that out. You think I'm crazy? Wait till you see my mates. More elves. Never enough elves. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Oh, yeah, we're gonna. Yeah. We're bringing in some Masker Girls here for game two. That's for sure. So they have five permanents. Gijin. I walk a righteous path. Your light will clean hmm. the darkness. Now I can't really fight with Domri. Give this indestructible, yeah. So by Domri minus two, Domri dies. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. All right, we need to find something sweet to put in here with Ilharg. Tetsamok would be a great one. Like, can you imagine drawing Tetsamok here? Just get to kill two creatures a turn? Dude, Tetsamok would be so good. Thanks, Gentleman Jack. Or Gentleman Jank. Glad you're enjoying it. Share in my light. 
Unbreakable Formation's an annoying one, of course. No, we're gonna have Tetsamok off the top. So I'm basically, I'm sacking the Llanowar off to gain five life here. Ilharg! Gosh, Ilharg's so good. Opponent's at 30 life, they just concede. They're at 20 and like attacking with like a bunch of creatures. They just see it, we have an Ilharg, they concede. Oh my gosh, Ilharg. We have like more. Ilharg has more scoops than a Baskin Robbins. Just so many scoops. Alright, that was not the best, but I was trying to think of something with a lot of scoops. That's what I came up with. Alright, uh, let's see. So yeah, Demanding Dragon. I probably want Palaka Worm. Demanding Dragon does fly over like their army, which is pretty cool. But they they can definitely sacrifice something, but still a five five flyer, that's gotta be good. Right? Still it's gotta be decent. Um I don't know, I kinda like all, all of these cards. All right, our creatures aren't going to really die very much. I think I actually just want to take out Bond Revival, to be honest. I don't think our like, they'll, like, Conclave Tribunal and stuff. And the 2-2 body with Reveler, like, really isn't that good if we're cutting Re Revival. I'm just going to cut that card also. I'm going to trim a Domri, and then we got to take out two top end cards. And those will be... Ronus and Dragon. Okay. Good looking hand. I mean, I don't think I don't think demanding dragons weak because they have one drops to sacrifice. It's still a, a five mana flyer that like how do they how do they deal with it? You know, like it's still gonna it's just gonna kill them. Hmm. So if I the problem with playing Kiora is I I play Kiora, you know, the seven loyalty, they attack it. Then I play Ripjaw Raptor next turn, draw a card. Uh but then you know also use the loyalty and then they tap my Ripjaw Raptor and kill Kiora and so then my Kiora dies. You know, once they tap Ripjaw Raptor. I don't like the whole they tap Ripjaw Raptor thing. So I'm just going with the coil there. Maybe we draw a land here and can double spell. That'd be nice. No. So I either play Cure or kill this Marshal. We'll kill the Marshal. Yeah, we brought in all three Masker Girls. Yeah. I don't I don't expect Lotus Field to be like a card that, you, that sees like a ton of play to be honest. 
Uh, could have really used some lands, TBH. Could have really used like one more land. If like any of these any of these four cards is a land, I would like it more. Why doing that right now? Isn't that a better card for next turn? I guess I could have just untapped the land we're off to jump block, I suppose. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so they're one away from aspirant. I don't think I can deal with three creatures. I think I can deal with two. No, I can't deal with three. Could I draw anything? No, we already played a land. No. All right, let's try to draw more than two lands. <laughs> I love Ferocious Pup. That's a great card. Love me some Ferocious Pup. Yeah, our third land drop was really critical, and we just didn't have it. We really needed that. You know, if not on turn three, still on turn four. By turn four, we need our third land. But we didn't have it. We kept the two lander on the draw, you know, so we had three draw steps to get to that land there. And didn't hit it. And still our fourth draw step didn't hit it. But Oh, well, we're on the play here. Um, kind of a turn behind. Kind of not. We'll still have Ripjaw on turn three. I'll just block that thing. Man, I love getting the flyer out of there. The thing, the good part about blocking is it makes their venerated Luxodon, like, blocking is actually just really good. Like, normally it wouldn't, but because of, like, their Convoke stuff, like venerated Luxodon, and also, like, how Aspirant turns into a flyer, this is honestly not a bad block. I'm not going to do it, though. i seriously considering it. Yeah, they would just they would sacrifice their bodyguard. It's true, so it wouldn't take out a flyer, but still gets getting permanents off the battlefield against mono white, like when they're playing Con, uh, Conclave Tribunal and Venerate Luxodon. You know, like trading one for one is like all I you know like that's what I want to be doing early on. See, like now this land world doesn't. Doesn't trade in the slightest. And we, we can't really afford attacking. And then they take it, and then they Conclave Tribunal, the other Ripjaw Raptor, and... And I'm like dead. 
Yeah, I don't I don't love where we're at here. Yeah, it looks like a yep, there's a Luxodon. It's not good. Oh, it's just that thing? Alright, that's that's great. Yeah, I'll that's great. I'll take four damage to draw two cards. And get a card out of their hand and draw two. Man, that's it's a lot better for me than Luxodon would be. They just didn't even attack. Huh. That might have been a waste. Unless they like they have another one next turn, they want to pump their things up to be five power. That would make sense. Yeah, I think they have a second one. Yeah. I think so too. But yeah, their their creatures are indestructible and vigilant, so there's I mean so yeah, I guess they they didn't want me to draw the cards. So like, yeah, if they attacked, they would they would have dealt four damage, but I would draw two cards. So they didn't want me to take to draw two and take four. But it's gotta be another one. They gotta have another unbreakable formation. Alright, so that's the This is Ilharg the Scoop God. So we'll see how fast our opponent scoops now that we played an Ilharg. That was not another unbreakable formation. Yep, that's that's my plan. Play Domri minus, find some find some big creatures for Ilharg. Alright, so yeah, the formation just a little bit of mistake there. They still got a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff over there. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just trade the board because then they have nothing, and I have a planeswalker, a masker girl, and a paradise druid. So our opponent could have sacrificed this 3-2 right here. They could have just sacrificed that 3-2 in, re you know, in response to the Masker Girl, and then it would not have been a board wipe. But they, they could have just done that, and yeah, they could have just sacked the 3-2. So I guess I need to play the Paradise Druid first to prevent that from happening. Um <laughs> a little pick me up before the real fun begins. Yeah, so I should just play this this Paradise Druid last turn to, to make sure that all their stuff died. So that was a bad play on my part, but my opponent didn't see it. They didn't, didn't punish me for it. So Galta costs eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So I can't actually cast Galta. Gonna hurt when this is through. Next turn. Next turn we got very lethal. Ilharg putting in Galta. 
I could have minus three the Domri to draw the Ilharg and play it, but it wouldn't have haste. So it's still just gonna have, still gonna be attacking with it this turn with the haste. Ah, coil, coil. All right, three and oh. This deck is sweet. Dude, Sway comes up with like the best decks. This deck's sweet. I'd be a Jehovah Witness for Boar God. <laughs> have you read my instructional pamphlet? Do you have time to talk about Father Bacon? <laughs> uh, there we go. Ooh. I will keep. The summit's gonna come into play tapped. So like I won't have like I'm probably gonna play that on turn three. Hey. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Meow. Okay, do you like Father Bacon? Yeah, turn three, Ilharg. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Ooh. They're just gonna, like, they're Esper control. I can shock here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shock in that land so that Dragon Skull Summit will come into play tap or so will come into play untapped later. Afterwards I'll just shock that thing in. Ilharg! The god of scoops. Scoops Callahan. See if anybody actually gets that reference. Scoops Callahan, 1920s reporter guy. All right, so that, that's one scoop. We'll see if we get two scoops. Um, <clears throat> take Elder Spell, Carney T, in. We'll take Tetsy, Worm. Tormenting voice and a remodi. A oh, no, remodi is cool. Hey, Aaron, thank you so much for that resub there. Let's see. What's our last one, Hawkeye? I want to keep a bunch of big stuff in. Do we want to get rid of? Get rid of this Domri, because this Domri doesn't have to fight very much. All right, we'll get rid of one of those Domri's. Seventh sub of the day. I don't play paper anymore. I used to go to a bunch of tournaments and everything, but not anymore. I am living the stream life, which is pretty nice. Good hand, good hand. Turn to Kiora. Gonna go ahead and shock in here. Um, Cause I, I may just discard this forest. I wanna have like the good colors of mana. <clears throat> Our life total isn't really under duress. I 
Get him. One damage. Count it. <laughs> um. No land drop for them. I feel like they could have Dovin's Veto here. Kind of feeling like they're going to Dovin's Veto. No. No Dovin's Veto. Have at it, boys. Ocean surges, life thrives. All right, big creatures. The stick is gas. I agree, pork. <laughs> pork the orc. So many scoops. We've drawn a couple bonder, or I think that's our second bond revival because we brought, we had a bond revival bring back a Lyra Dawnbringer. Um. Or bring back a Ravager Worm to eat a Lyra Dawnbringer. Yeah, Remodi with Boundary Revival. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that is 4 0. It is final boss time. We got an extra life also. Since we're 4 0. Oh, yeah, getting these. Final boss emotes here in the chat. Yeah, our opponent just kept the two lander, never got a third one. Wasn't really a game. Here we go. The final boss. Hawkeye, you ready? Okay, just loving the ear scratches. All right, we go one to five with this curve. That's what our deck's doing. All right, well, we don't have five mana yet on turn two. So I guess we'll pass. One to five. We have five mana somewhere. It's five mana time somewhere. No blocks. You think I'm blocking over here? You think I'm scared? Oh, we don't have any. We don't even have double red? Never mind. I'm suddenly scared. We can't play our things? Oh, no. No double red. I didn't even. I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention to that. All right, I'm scared. Let's see if you're worthy. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Dang. Good game. <laughs> Six uncastables. <laughs> uh, all right, Massacre Girl. Come on in here and massacre, massacre some stuff. All right, going to play Massacre Girl, and we're going to cut two Bond Revivals. And... Ronus? 
Sounds good. All right, switch out some some five mana cards. All right, this time our one to five curve has a couple of things in between. <laughs> revival, is, it's talking about the card Bond of Revival. So naming the name the deck after that card. That's a chapstick. That's not how you put chapstick on, silly. Don't eat chapstick. Silly cat. Whoops. <laughs> what was that? Okay, let's see. Ooh, I look forward to seeing they can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> So yeah, I don't have two black mana. You know, it would be kind of nice to be able to wait on Paradise Druid until after I play Masker Girl, but I don't don't have the double black mana unless I play the Paradise Druid. Ooh, so do I play Domri first and let them have another turn of playing some more spells before I Masker Girl? Or do I just Masker Girl right now? I think I could probably play Domri first. The only authority that I recognize is Chaos. Domri minus? So like if I go Domri minus. Be mad to tussle with me. Let's just have a look see, shall we? Uh, so if they play Nissa, no, because they they won't have three creatures to attack, even with a Nissa. Let's tear this place up. Have you ever lost a home? Yeah, Vivian's rude. So I could I could just go haste Masker Girl. I guess I just do that. I guess I just use Masker Girl now. And kill Vivian. <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. I'll be back, just like before. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> so I could shock in there and and um, you know do the whole spectacle thing, but then I would have discarded the other two. So I was just going to discard one. Okay, game three versus the final boss.
man. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Here we go. Maybe I should I probably should have just done the other Domri. We won't answer other guilds. I wanted to be able to attack to Fairy here. I'm getting too old for Maybe I should have just done other Domri and not attack. I'll protect you. Hmm. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. All right, Schlag on. If they didn't block, I think I was probably just going to play the Chaos Bringer. Trust me, I have a plan. Sure. Get Masker Girl back in my hand. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, what is this? Honor Guards? What is that? That's rude. That is real rude. We Bad. Bad honor guard. If you don't think Massacre Girl is still massacring, you got another thing coming. Masker Girl still massacring. <laughs> no, Jelly, I didn't. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. Ah, these go here, those go there. All right, cleared off four lands. Five lands. And we drew a land for turn, so that was six lands in a row. And we drew a land last turn, so it was seven lands in a row. At least. Did we draw a land the previous turn also? It was at least seven lands in a row. Most certainly. Lyra Dawnbringer. We won't answer our other guilds. A little power can go a long way. Oh wait. They are legendary. Crap. I forgot I, this board I like I forget the Masker Girl's legendary, honestly. 
Like, it just doesn't seem like a card that's legendary. I forget that that's legendary. I was going to play them both and then, you know, attack with both Masquerade Girls here. Because, yeah, the... Because then, because, like, it would have just killed the two, and I, yeah, I was going to attack with both of them. Oh, it doesn't stick out? Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, Lyra's out here. We got two Domries. No! My Domries. No, you haven't seen the last of me. Hmm. You're gonna hurt when this is through. So I actually liked that Mask of Girl play, honestly. I'm known for my excellent timing. I'll protect you. Because if I Ugh, stop. Beasts are much more reliable than human. You can still walk away. Yeah, so I, I had to I had to do it that way. I had to sacrifice the mask girl I, girl I played because I needed the other one to be in play for the yeah for the I'm fifth trigger. To get miffed now. <laughs> A little pick me up before the real wait, fun begins. Uh, wait, can I undo? I can't undo. But I can choose red, and red can't cast a land or elf. Okay. I always survive. You'll see. I wanted to kill Vivian there. I wanted to have the Remadi have haste. I've got time. Jeez. Cards unnecessary. All right, you're gonna have an attitude. So I want the Domri to be able to minus three and stay alive. Oh no! Oh, I needed that extra mana. Oh, Tetsumok. Yeah, we'll just get him next turn. Let's just have a look see, shall we? Yeah, we'll just get him next turn. That's a Magil Harg. We're doing it. Here we go. We're doing it. Oh man, this is going to be great. What a turn. Unfortunately, our opponent still has a million cards. Ooh. I guess. <laughs> this ain't gonna be one of those quiet riots. Oh, I guess I'll. All right, so do this. All right. Can I not mess this up? 
I have to have four mana. Not to brag, but my friends kind of a few. I love to make a splash. Prey counter. Let's get some prey counters on some stuff over here. The other Domri is going to come back. And we're going to have lethal. What a turn. What a card. What a deck. And then Domri comes in, gives our creatures plus one. What a deck. Let's get some victory fanfare going on in here. Tetsamok Ilharg. What a turn. What a perfect turn. What an awesome deck. Wow, this one's really cool. So yeah, we didn't really bond do too much too many cool things with Bond Revival. We did something cool like that last game and and yeah, we uh you know got to kill a Lyra with it, but man, the Domri Kiora was awesome. Yeah, clip that. Put that clip in in the in the Discord channel too. In the Discord channel we have like the highlight section. That was a great one. Clip yeah. Clip that that uh turn. Yeah, Sway, thank you so much for this donation deck, Sway. This this deck was awesome. Um, yeah, really, really cool deck here. Um, yeah, almost makes you cry. Yeah, this is Sway, Sway uh, Cryo there. Donated for this deck. Um, wow, super cool deck. Um, but man, Ilhark was awesome. Tetsamok. We got to... Man, we got to live the dream there with Tetsamok. Got to do some couple of cool things with Tetsamok. But yeah, three mana Domri, three mana Kiora. Like these these cards were just awesome. Domri Chaos Bringer was really cool for us too, given our creatures haste and and everything. Black Hat Hedgehog. Thanks, Hedgehog. Thanks for that tier one sub. Getting the hype boats in there. Uh Massacre Girl out of the sideboard. Incredible. Love the Massacre Girls. Those are awesome. Yeah, just a really cool deck. Really, really cool deck. Had to had to get that sub for that one. Thank you so much. There. Um, so so yeah, that's a, that's the five zero. Should mark that down. In the record books. Yeah, just just a really good deck. The the Remodi Reveler. Uh, honestly, like those were pretty good. Demanding Dragon was sweet. Did a lot of damage and everything. Yeah, pretty awesome deck. LK Butler, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Also, that means we only need one more sub to get our sub goal for the day. So if you like that deck too, and would like to help support me as the full being a full-time streamer, consider hitting that sub button. Try to get to 10 each day. We're almost there at 9. <laughs> yeah, we were slaying to the Frodo, yeah, Frodo theme that was going on in the background there that, that last game whenever... We were doing all that stuff with Tetsamok. We had the Lord of the Rings music in the background. That was really sweet. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna play this deck again here, so, you know, sometime soon. You know, uh, next couple of days. Cause yeah, this was a lot of fun. This deck was awesome. Love me some good old Ilharg. Uh, weak points with the deck. Um, we don't interact a whole lot. Like we didn't play against Mono Red. Like Mono Red would probably be tough. Um, people that would like put pressure on like if there was decks that were putting pressure if we played against them to put pressure on the Domries and the Kioras like right away that would be um, that would be something that would be problematic or like a control deck with a lot of exile not killing things for bond re revival and as you can see here I, I didn't even have enchantment removal in the deck like just didn't even put it in the deck didn't even want it um, but yeah, so if we played 
against an enchantment removal heavy deck kind of thing, like decks with lots of enchantment removal. But all right. Hey, you're welcome. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please hit that like button over there and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd be appreciative if you do that as well. For those of you here in chat, if you don't know about the YouTube channel, it's right there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. But there we go. That's Jund Revival. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another one.